Alrighty then. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Matthew Baker of Beautiful New York Tours. A very interesting lady gave me a very challenging request recently, asking me to do a piece about a New Yorker that I had never heard of and was not familiar with. So I, I did some research and was fascinated by the story, but very nearly balked at the idea because I didn't think that now was the time to talk about a Chinese person doing anything remotely controversial. There has been so much unreasonable backlash and unfairness uh, towards Chinese and Chinese Americans right now um, that I thought, why fan that fire? And then, you know, I said, Matt, you have never run away from this kind of thing before, and heaven knows some of the people we've talked about in these videos have been people who did both good and harm. Let's not quit now. So, with, with those concerns in mind, let us talk about a very, very interesting woman whose name was Cheng Choi Ping, but who was known affectionately to her clients and associates as Sister Ping. Sister Ping grew up impoverished during the Great Leap Forward in China and came to Chinatown in New York in 1980-81, thereabouts. To the casual observer like you or I, Sister Ping was a shopkeeper. She had a clothing shop on Hester Street, and her family owned a restaurant, which is still on East Broadway, and is very good. Uh, but inside some less savory circles, she was known as the mother of all snakeheads. Snakehead is a Chinese term for someone who engages in human trafficking. Now, of course, there is more than one kind of human trafficking. Uh, there is still, of course, a slave trade in the world, uh, which not a lot of people like to talk about or deal with. And, of course, there are those who smuggle illegal immigrants not just in the U.S., but in the U.K. and in other countries where there are opportunities for people who find none in their old countries. Now, Sister Ping knew what life in China was like firsthand, but what started as help for friends and family wound up becoming an underground business empire that earned her over $40 million dollars starting at $18,000 per person and later having that price rise to about $35,000, she helped thousands upon thousands of people come to America. Now, why were they coming? In many cases, uh, these Chinese immigrants were looking to escape uh, the rather restrictive policies of China that would do things like forced abortions and sterilizations. Some were simply trying to escape starvation levels of poverty and you know, looked to American capitalism as a way to own their own businesses. Uh, now, nobody, of course, had $35,000 up front, and sometimes it could take them years to work off their debt to Sister Ping and her associates. Those who couldn't pay might find themselves running afoul. The Fukqing gang uh, would beat, torture, in some cases rape, those who could not pay their debts. So by the time Sister Ping was captured and put on trial uh, for her crimes, she was painted by the federal government as an almost, you know, Don Corleone, godmother type figure. But there are many in Chinatown who said, well, of course we understand that what she did was illegal, but so is what Robin Hood did. And they see her and saw her as a modern day Robin Hood. What was she? Maybe a little bit of both. One fascinating thing about Sister Ping's practices was that if 
as was the case in, say, uh, the infamous Golden Venture disaster when a cargo ship with 300 immigrants on board ran aground in uh, Far Rockaway and 10 people died trying to swim ashore. Any time a disaster like that took place, she would pay for their burial. So this became the very definition of the concept honor among thieves. Uh, this actually helped to increase her business. So well loved and admired in these circles was she that other snakeheads would falsely claim to be associated with Sister Ping in order to drum up business for themselves. It got to the point, by the time she went to prison, uh, Sister Ping was noted for having an international brand. So Vito Corleone or Robin Hood is for us to decide, uh, each individually in a uh, time of you know, great debate on such matters. Uh, but certainly a fascinating figure, as people who you know, skirt the boundaries of the law often are. There are many guided walking tours in New York City that are all about the scene of the crime and you know, the, the more lurid side of New York City activities. If you are curious to see some of these once it is safe to travel, please check me out at Beautiful New York Tours. You can search Beautiful New York Tours on Facebook or email me at baker.tours at yahoo.com. Again, that is baker.tours at yahoo. Thank you very much.